Clovis has a rich music history and even an iconic recording studio and rock and roll museum honoring the legacy of Norman Petty. KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has more about the Clovis sound. If you're not paying attention driving down 7th Street in Clovis, you could easily miss Norman Petty Recording Studios. It was the birthplace of the Clovis sound back in the 50s and influenced rock and roll music for decades. Petty's label, Norva Jack Music Inc., would go down in history. So all of these artists just came to Clovis, New Mexico to record with Norman Petty right there on 7th Street. And so um, he was just a genius as it related to sound and engineering. And um, it's kind of one of those things, the momentum just grew from one artist, you know, to the next. And you can be anywhere in the world and hear, it's weird, to hear songs that you know that were recorded right here in your community. Artists like Buddy Holly recorded with Norman and Vi Petty, charting the hit That'll Be The Day, not to mention Roy Orbison and many others. That's why the Norman and Vi Petty Rock and Roll Museum exists, to pay tribute to the legacy. It's been around for 11 years now. If people are going to come to Clovis to see the studio, then they can also visit the museum or vice versa. So it makes it more of a tourist attraction. Um, all of the images, photos, records, any of the uh, displays are uh, very unique to Clovis and tells the story of the legacy that happened here when Buddy Holly, Buddy Knox, and different rock and roll greats recorded here in Clovis. Thanks to the museum and the estate of Norman and Vi Petty, their legacy isn't going anywhere. In Clovis, Kaylee Green, KEMR Local 4 News.